Attracted by nuts, a badger timidly emerges from the undergrowth into a suburban garden. In the UK, badgers are the largest member of the mustelid family, which includes otters and weasels. Badgers are powerfully built with a small head, a stocky body, long claws for digging and a short tail. Males, called boars, are bigger than females, which are called sows. There is high infant mortality. However, if a badger lives past the age of two, they may live for seven or eight years, with the oldest recorded being 15. They have an acute sense of smell. Their hearing is similar to that of humans, and they have poor eyesight. Unusually for mustelids, the badger is a highly social animal, living in family groups called clans, usually consisting of around six adults and their young, though as many as 23 individuals have been recorded in a clan. Badgers live in a network of underground burrows called the set. In a single territory, there may be several of these sets. In the UK, they are most often dug into sloping ground and found in deciduous woodland. However, they can be found in a variety of locations, from open fields to sea cliffs. These badgers live in a nearby wood that the town is engulfed as it grew. This is the case for many urban badgers, and it's not known to what extent badgers actually move into urban areas. Badgers are mainly nocturnal, sleeping through the day and emerging from their subterranean homes at dusk. Sets are passed on from one generation to the next, and can be used for decades, even centuries. They can be vast, sometimes accommodating multiple families. When this happens, each family occupies its own passages and nesting chambers. Badgers keep their sets meticulously clean, most likely to reduce parasite load and disease risk. They collect bedding made of dry vegetation throughout the year, particularly during the autumn and spring. Although badgers do not hibernate, they do spend a lot of time in the set during cold spells in winter. During this time, they may air their bedding outside on sunny mornings. Badgers will tolerate other species, such as fox and rabbit, using their sets, though they will not directly share chambers. Territories range from 30 to 150 hectares, depending on the quality of habitat. Badgers use latrines, a shallow pit into which they defecate, to mark these territories, and they use a series of well-worn paths around their territory for foraging. Mating tends to occur in the spring, but it can take place throughout the year. Implantation can be delayed for up to 15 months to ensure that the cubs are born during the spring, with litters usually containing between 1 and 5 cubs. The youngsters are weaned at around 5 months, and reach sexual maturity at around a year and a half. At 2 years of age, animals are most likely to leave their family group, with males more likely to do so than females. However, it is thought that the majority of badgers remain within the family group. Badgers are omnivores. Their diet includes invertebrates, of which earthworms are an important element, as well as small vertebrates, fruit, fungi, bulbs, cereal and nuts. Due to a badger's thick skin and long claws, they can eat hedgehogs, and they are one of the few animals able to eat wasps' nests, being seemingly impervious to their stings. Here, the badgers have been spoiled with almonds, which they are noisily devouring. In the UK, adult badgers have no natural predators, as wolf and lynx have been exterminated. However, cubs may be preyed upon by foxes and golden eagles. It is thought that the stripes on a badger's face may act as a warning to other animals, such as wolves, that unlike many other mid-sized mammals, it is more than capable of fighting back. Despite their ability to defend themselves from large predators, badgers do not appear to come into direct conflict with domestic pets although this cat is not too pleased to share its garden with them. The spread of bovine TB and the implication of badgers as a vector is a complicated issue. Whilst badgers do carry the disease, their role in infecting cattle is not clearly understood. The current Conservative government's badger cull is ill-conceived and unlikely to solve the bovine TB problem. It is possible that the ineffective and expensive culling endorsed by the current government could make matters worse. Surviving animals often wander further in search of other badgers, and if these badgers are infected with TB, they will spread the disease further. To stop this tragic cost to farmers, a number of approaches will need to be taken. These include methods of cattle husbandry, changes in policy, and the improved vaccination of badger populations.